Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's my jumpy jumps and the poopin' eggs and where's the mumbos? And to that I say, I understand. This is not the Banjo game you wanted. But if you can get past your hatred of the vehicle-based gameplay, there's a lot here for Banjo fans to love. If you've overlooked Nuts and Bolts this whole time because it's not the platformer you wanted, I implore you to give it another chance. And I'm gonna show you guys some awesome glitches to make things as amazing as possible. Let's go! Once you've had yourself a slice of pizza, destroyed as many fences as your heart desires, and shed a few pounds, it's time to get our first car. Come on, Banjo, get the cool one! Okay, now that we've got our first car, it's time to head to town. The glitches will start in just a minute, but first, let's go do Nutty Acres 1. It'll all make sense in a minute, okay? Just do it. Okay, done. Now go and bank your first jiggy and we can get started. So the setup for this first glitch is you get an item, pretty much any item will work, and you put it inside your car. Then you stand on top of the item and pull the right trigger to lift it. As you can see, this pretty much just makes you float. This may seem like a pretty simple gl this may seem like a pretty simple glitch, but it actually opens up a lot of possibilities due to there being these crates hidden around town that carry different vehicle parts. Hmm... Oh! Why? Why? The first crate we're going to get is also one of the most difficult, so pay attention! Get an item to use for the hover glitch, I personally prefer to use the park bench, and then come over to this spot right around here. Hop on top of your item and start flying! This is gonna be a very long trip, just stay calm, and if you need to readjust, be very, very careful with your movement. Just as we get near the top here, we're actually going to ditch our car and jump on top of this building. Jump down here and onto this ledge, and you'll see a switch here. If you hit the switch, you can actually get a free jiggy. There's five different free jiggies hidden around town. Okay, we've gotten our free jiggy, now climb back up to the top, jump down, and get your car. Get into position here, and then hover towards the middle. You're not meant to get to this portion without the scuba seat, which you get way later. But we're doing it now. Don't question it, gosh dang! Grab a whole bunch of notes, get this crate, and use it to hover back out. And you might as well grab this crate along the way. Warp back to Mumbo's Motors, turn in your crates, and get your swag! Not bad, not bad, but let's go get some more. Get to this position, hover towards this building here, grab this crate, hit that switch, grab this crate, and get the crud back to Mumbo's Motors. Whew, okay. So, we found some pretty awesome items, and there are many, many more around town, so definitely explore using this flying glitch and see what you can find. Or you can just look up item list online. I'm not gonna judge you. But now, let's take a look at another glitch. Around town, you may have seen these laser fences. Behind them are some of the best items in the game. But you're meant to get a laser weapon from a grunty battle much later on to zap these fences down. But that's too much work, so let's just glitch them out of there. Here's what you do. Flip your car on its side, push it up against the fence, and then grab the crate on the other side and drag it right next to your car. This may take a few tries to get the crate just in the right spot, but once it's up against the fence, go ahead and go inside a level, and then go back out. And BAM! You've got the crate! Okay, this needs some explanation. So the reason this works is the game has a property where if there's a crate inside your car, when you go inside a level, when you come back out, it will still be in the car. So basically, by putting it up against the fence like this, we're tricking the game into thinking the crate is inside the car. Oh yeah, gosh dang magic, bro. So what do you say we go around town and collect a few of these awesome crates? First is this one, which is right near the center of town. Alright, easy enough. Next is this one, which is up near Banjoland. For this one, I would recommend waiting until you've actually unlocked the Banjoland stage, so that you don't have to walk all the way back to Nettie Acres just to go in and out of a stage for the glitch. Remember, doing this glitch, your car is stuck next to a fence, so you have to walk. The last one here is really tricky, but I'm gonna show you guys the setup that works. First, grab a wooden crate and fly it all the way up to here. Then, grab one of these plants around town and set it up on... Then set it up on top. <clears throat> then set it up on top of your car. You'll want to fly into the middle cage with both of these items in your car. This might be tricky, but with a few tries, you can get it. Okay, instead, go get a second wooden crate and fly that up here as well. Get that into the middle and then set them up on top of each other at the edge of the cage. Now we're gonna drive our car all the way down to here and push it up against this laser fence. Set the crate up, go all the way back to the top, and then use the boxes we stacked up to jump out of the cage. Now you have to walk all the way back to a stage. Alternatively, you could wait until you unlock the Terrarium of Terror level, but that does not happen until 46 Jiggies. So while it is a long walk, I would recommend doing it now. With all these jets, you'll find that they drain your fuel really quick, so we're gonna want lots of large fuel tanks. We've already gotten one. You can get a second one from this crate at the very north of town. Swim through the left side of this fence here, swim all the way through the tunnel, and then grab it here. You can also buy one at the store once you've turned in 40 jiggies, and Mumbo will give you a free one after you've gotten 60 jiggies. And with that, you are ready to conquer this game! But before we sign off here, I'm gonna show you guys some out-of-bounds glitches, cause those are always fun. Yeah! Head to the workshop and make 
a vehicle that is just a grenade turret. Go ahead and give it a nice paint job if you want it to be extra sexy. And then take the grenade turret into any stage. Flip it on its side and then hop in. If you readjust your camera just right so that your head clips through the floor and then you get out of the grenade turret, you'll fall through the world. Then quickly pause and pull out some type of flying vehicle. And just like that, you'll be out of bounds flying around. You can do this on pretty much any stage and explore to your heart's content. One stage in particular this is really cool on is Spiral Mountain. If you clip out of bounds here and you look around, you'll see these two little puffs of smoke. Fly towards them and suddenly BAM! You'll be in the middle of this game factory. This factory is actually part of the final cutscene in the game. You're not meant to see this, and you can actually fly right through it. You can't touch it at all. But there you go. And that is it for the first episode of my new Glitchfest series. Guys, you should leave a comment and let me know what you think of this series. These are probably my favorite videos to make, and I've got a couple ideas for other games. <coughs> Mario Sunshine. <clears throat> but if there are any games you guys would like to see me break, be sure to leave that in the comment as well. I'm trying to put out videos every week, so definitely subscribe if you haven't, and click on this crowd on the screen to go to some different videos. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!